Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in. I don't normally review individual flight controllers, but this one is a little bit special. And as you can see, I've already done my tinning because I am planning a build and I was getting started on that for a true X. But this isn't just a flight controller. This is an F3 uh, 6 Degrees of Freedom flight controller with an integrated OSD and PDB and a current sensor all in one. It's currently listed for $41.99 on Banggood's site. And as you can see there, it's I believe that says HGLRC. And uh, there's a few things that are fairly interesting about that. To make this work with your, to flash your OSD, you'll need an FTDI adapter, which this is the one I'm using here. Got it from uh, Amazon for like six bucks. And you will connect that into this port here. Make sure I can do that. I've done it a few times. So that's how you will manage the OSD side of things. This isn't an OSD tutorial, this is just about the uh, board. But it's it's interesting, not only because of the all-in-one capabilities, but if we look very closely, and I hope to keep my hands out of the way here so you can focus, we've got S1, S2, S3, and S4. And right here is S6 and S5. So you can run a hexacopter off this, and that's pretty cool. It does come with uh, an XT60 that you mount here, just like it shows in the cutout. Um, I'm actually going to mount mine upside down because I want to keep that out of the way. I'm going to really shrink the profile as much as I can. And we do get a few other cable connectors here to connect receivers and uh, uh, any other accessories that you might want to connect to this particular board. So we've got our plus and minus both on the top side. and or, or, Sorry, we've got our plus on the top side, our minus on the bottom side where we solder in our ESCs. And then we've got our signals as we went over that. We've also got a buzzer, which I'm going to put a buzzer on my build. And then also you have to run your camera and VTX through the board in order to get the OSD, of course. Um, and this is a little bit quirky because they've got the cam connection here. So your yellow wire normally on your camera goes in here. And then your VTX wire, which is also normally yellow, comes out here. And then they chose to put 5 volts here and 12 volts there. Normally you'd want that the other way around. Most cameras will run on 5 volts and some of the uh, most of the CCD cameras will run on a much greater voltage, but our VTXs oftentimes require 12. So uh, in my case, I'll probably just loop under the board and solder my VTX there, loop back under the board and solder my uh, camera there. If you have any uh, questions about this board, please let me know. I've got the build underway. Uh, I should also, before I end this video, draw your attention to the fact that I use Spectrum a lot because it's dirt cheap. Uh, you can get them directly from uh, lemon-rx.com for five fifty dollars a piece. They're little tiny lemon satellites. I'll get one here. So this little guy here, still in the package. Um, I buy those. When I have plenty of time, I order them directly from Lemon RX. When I don't have time, I order them from a vendor here in the U.S. In the U.S., you usually pay between 8 to $10 for these. But they work fine for me. Um, they run DSM-2, and they oftentimes talk about DMS X compatibility but DSM2 is how you're the protocol you're going to want to use on those and it's got our 3.3 volt that we need here and then we've got our URX3 and we've got our ground then 5 volt if you're running a different type of receiver right there so we'll connect our receivers up just that way but I thought this is a pretty special little board really for 42 bucks and I wanted to kind of highlight a few of the things and uh, I have plugged in the OSD and got it working there was, it seemed to possibly be partially working the OSD, um, but I had to go through some other steps in order to get that working. And, and those are detailed online and uh, RC groups. Many people have um, all sorts of tutorials and steps and troubleshooting and uh, questions and answers um, on uh, MWOSD. So you might want to look there. If you get one of these boards or you have a similar board and you're having troubles with it, here's a quick look at the underneath side. We've got our voltage regulators and all the ports right there. All right, if you have any questions or comments, leave those in the section down below, and we'll see you in the next video.